Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I draw this cute little donkey. I'm going to be using the app Procreate, but you're welcome to follow along even if you're using colored pencils or a different drawing app. If you'd like to use the same colors as I am, look for them in the description of this YouTube video. First thing I'm going to do is create a canvas size that is, oh, I'll say 16 inches by 16 inches at 300 dpi. Uh, you can make yours smaller, but I always make my canvases 300 dpi in case I want to print this uh, later. So I've got a square canvas, and the first thing I'm going to do is sketch my little burrow. So I'll start with his head, and I'm going to draw a circle for his head, and then a circle down here for where his nose is, and then I'm going to connect these with like a straight line. And then I'm going to come on this back side, and I'm going to have this come towards the front because this is the back side of his jaw. So I want this to come about halfway down that circle. And then I'm going to draw his ears, which are just going to be little like V shapes that go upwards, one that goes behind. So one is in front of his ear, uh, one is in front of his head, and the other one is behind his head. They're just little V shapes. You can even draw like the inside, like a line to show the inside of there. And I'm gonna draw two lines going backwards to connect to his body. So for his body, I'm gonna draw just maybe like this like bean shape. And then I love the way that little donkey's butt stick up. So I'm gonna kind of highlight that a little bit more by drawing a big round circle for his butt. I'm gonna keep the leg shapes really simplified. So I'm gonna draw the first leg as a long skinny U. And that U gets more narrow towards the back, uh, towards the bottom of his leg and it gets wider towards the front. And this one up front, I'll do the same. I'm going to draw his back leg bending. So I am going to draw a point that starts almost close to even with his, his, uh, the back of his butt and I'm going to draw it connecting forward, curving in a curved line towards this end of the circle. So it's okay if it, does, if it comes up a little bit further, a little lower, it did, you can adjust that later. And then I'm going to draw a U shape, U shape there. And now I'm going to create a curved line that connects to the back end of his, his bottom right there. And then I'm going to draw his other leg right there. Now these legs are a little bit smaller than these legs and that's fine. So what I can do is I can grab my selection tool. I'll make a quick selection of this leg and I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. So it's close, about close to the same size as those legs back there. And I'll grab this leg and do the same. So I'm just gonna make him a little bit smaller. And you know, he's pretty close. Wow, that's actually surprisingly really close to about that same size. So it's okay if you don't draw it right the first time around. This, this is just a sketch. I'm also going to, just for fun, make this guy's head bigger. So I'm grabbing it at the neck point and I'm uh, going to just make him a little bit bigger because that is kind of cute when we have a bigger face. Uh, I'm also going to just draw a little um, curving line back here for his tail. I'm going to kind of mimic the same shape that, the shape that I'm seeing right here. And then I'll draw a little teardrop shape for the bottom of his tail. All right, now I'm going to refine this sketch and make it a lot cleaner. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to lower the opacity on the first layer. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to only draw the lines that I want to actually keep in here. So I don't need to keep that circle. You can make these a little bit more triangular I'm even going to round out the tip of his ear right there. So I'm going to make this more of an oval shape at the top. So this is a little bit more, I want to make this a little bit wider. So I'm going to go a little bit further out and I'll probably keep this side the same. And I'm going to make a little rounded shop, rounded shape at the top. 
And I'll also, again, just close it off. So there's one side of his ear and the inside of his ear. And I'll connect these guys. And I'm gonna round out that little bum. Connect these guys. And I think we'll probably, we probably will see this in front of his belly. So I'm gonna draw that part. This, I don't need to see the back side of there. And I will draw this until I get to his leg up front here. And the same over here. And don't forget the tail. And then I am gonna keep this because I want this to be white on, my, on his sketch. I'm going to draw a circle, big circle right here for his eye. And I'm also going to make it a little bit of a diamond shape by adding rounded triangles on either side right there. Now I'm probably going to want to create some whiteness around his eye, so I'm just going to draw a circle to remind me of that there. And I'm also going to want to make parts of his belly white. So I'm going to turn off the, the first original sketch layer and I'm going to draw this line where I know I'm going to make this white on his belly. And I might even do the same right there. And one more thing I could be doing is putting a little blanket on his back to add a little nostril detail. So I'm going to add a teardrop shape up here. And I might just give him a little smile right on the bottom too. Now, as I'm looking at this, I think I might want to have hit this a little bit squashed closer together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this front half of his nose and just push it a little bit closer. And I can just kind of stretch this. I'm gonna switch to free form and I can just kind of stretch as I want to make this come a little bit closer. So I started out a really long nose, but I think I, think I wanna squish his nose up a little bit closer because I think that looks cuter. So now I'm gonna center this sketch. All right, now we can come in here and start adding color. The first thing I'm going to do is turn my background a pale pink so that I can make sure that um, the values of my color are strong enough. Um, you do not have to choose a pink background. You can choose whatever background you want. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm going to use a painting brush. I'm gonna use the stucco brush. You can use whatever brush you wanna use. It's fine. Um, the brush does not really matter as long as it's big and it's easy for you to fill a lot of space really quickly. And the first color that I'm gonna put down is the medium brown for the donkey. So I'm choosing a like light medium gray, uh, a little bit on the reddish side. And I'm gonna come in here on my new layer and I'm going to carefully outline everywhere that I want this uh, gray color. I'm gonna just go over the back where I'm gonna put his blanket later because I'll put that on top of another layer. And I'm not gonna get this second half of the air because that side is gonna be completely white. So I'm not worrying about it. But remember how I made sort of a teardrop shape up here? I'm making sure that I am getting that really nicely with my color. And now I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna draw the shape of his tail. I'm going to start thin down here and I'm gonna get thicker up here so that his tail has a little bit of shape. And now I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this space. Okay, now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to draw the white of his belly in here. I'm going to use two fingers and I'm going to select the contents of this gray layer. You can also tap on the layer and hit uh, select. And this, and I'm, but I'm going to draw on my new layer. And this is going to keep me uh, in the lines of the gray that I've already drawn. And I'm just going to come in here. Since my brush is textured, I am creating kind of a textured Stroke. So as I'm drawing like the, let's turn off the sketch layer, uh, you can see it's not perfectly even. And I kind of want that because I think that the donkey's coat isn't going to be perfectly, perfectly gray right here and then perfectly um, pale white down here. I think it's gonna switch between those. Uh, I'm gonna reselect this and I'm going to come back in here and um, I can kind of see where my outline is. I'm gonna do the same thing with his nose. So I'm just kind of roughly shaping. And because I have alpha lock on, 
as I draw on this one, on the muzzle, it's not gonna go outside of the lines. I'm also gonna do the same thing around his eye. I'm just gonna create some rough shape around there so that um, he's got a little bit of rough color in there. And in fact, let's go ahead and add the eye. Now I can take this um, sketch layer and since I'm having a really hard time seeing the shape of the eye that I did before, I can bring it to the top of all of these layers. And what I'll do is I'll hit the letter N and I'm going to scroll up until it hit, says multiply and I'm gonna lower the opacity. This is going to basically create a darker version of whatever I'm drawing so that I'll always be able to see it, but it'll be kind of um, out of the way. So I'm gonna go back to my blank layer. I'm gonna choose a darker color. This is actually not pure black, check that out. It looks like it's pure black, but it is actually pretty far from black, but I want it to be a much, much darker color. Uh, and I'm gonna go to my inking brushes and I'm going to maybe choose something like the studio pen um, because I don't want his eyes to have a rough texture. I want his eyes to have a really smooth texture. And because I can see where I drew that eye before, I can come in here and create a really nice smooth shape. Cool, and if I turn off the sketch layer, I'm seeing this really come together. Um, I'm actually gonna just add a little dash of white to his eye. Oh, look at that, now he's really got an eye in there. Okay, so let's go back to the white layers, uh, or the, the pale um, gray, and I'm gonna start adding some of that to his ears as well. And I can do a fun trick. I'm gonna use the selection tool, and I'm going to draw a smooth edge on this outside of his ear, and then I'm going to come on this other side where I can see my sketch and close that off, and I will come back into my painting stucco brush and I'm gonna really fill that in. I'm gonna do the other thing the other side, the other ear and fill that in really fast as well. Cool, we're really getting somewhere. Now this looks really flat to me. So what I want to do is I want to start creating some shading. So I'm going to create a new layer and I am going to choose a darker gray. And I'm gonna turn my sketch layer back on and I am going to start drawing some shading. So I know that I drew his neck over here. I'm gonna make this brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to create a little bit of shadow underneath of his neck. I'm also going to create the, a little bit of shading between the front leg and the back leg. So, and as I'm coming in here, I am creating lighter and lighter as I go down. So the darkest point is where the two legs meet. And as I go further down, it gets a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this back leg. I'm gonna create a line to separate these two legs. And then as I go further down that back leg, I'm gonna push less and less, making the shading go lighter and lighter as I go further down. Um, I can also create a little bit of, let's turn our sketch layer back on. Remember how I've got this um, leg coming up a little bit? I can do the same thing here. I'm gonna turn the sketch layer way, 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 way down so I can barely, barely see it. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it on camera, but I'm gonna create a little bit of um, highlight so that I can see that this is in front of his belly. I could even do the same thing right there. And you know what? Why don't I create just a little bit of shading on his bum just to give him a little bit of life? And you know what? We need to put some hair on his tail. So I'm gonna put on his tail. Ta -da! Let's also give him his nose. If I turn my sketch layer back up, I can really see it. I'm gonna put um, his nose on his the eye layer because I like to keep all of my um, top level details on the same layer. And I'm going to choose the smooth brush for that as again. And I'll come in here and I'll really scribble this guy on. Okay, let's turn our sketch layer off. That's looking pretty fun. So let's go ahead and remember we've got that uh, blanket on the top. All right, I'm gonna go back to my stucco brush and I'm going to draw this blanket in. But I really want this to be really um, thick. I don't want this to be see-through. So I'm gonna go over it a couple of times. The more I go over with this brush, the more I fill in those little gaps of texture. So it, it's becoming more and more of a solid color. And now I think that we should add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna grab some white and I'm gonna create like 
a big white zigzag. And maybe I will draw some smaller ones underneath of it following that first one. And you can draw whatever patterns you want in here. You could also, you know, put dots, whatever, whatever strikes your fancy. But I just want to add a little bit of visual interest to this. And I don't want it all to be the same shape. So that's uh, why it's nice to maybe draw some thick lines versus some thin lines. Um, yeah. And I'm going to turn my sketch layer off. And this is looking really, really good. I might add just like a little smile to my donkey down here. And you know what would be fun? I'm going to add a red harness. So I'm going to grab this red color right here and I'm going to draw a harness that goes above his muzzle and comes and comes swooping down. That looks nice. You could even add some tassels on here. Now, one thing I am also noticing is that there's not enough uh, definition between the white of the ear and the background color. Um, so what I can do is, uh, there's a couple of things I could do. I could draw a little bit of a gray outline to help define um, the background from these whiter, lighter areas. I could make the white light areas even lighter so that they are brighter than the background, or I could also make the background darker or lighter so that there's a little bit more contrast. In this case, I think what I'm gonna do is just darken the background just a touch. We could also give him some little hoofs by drawing some little, like little trapezoids here at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a line that goes with the leg straight down, kind of at an angle in the front and then flat against the bottom of his foot. So straight down at an angle in the front, straight and straight. Might make that one a little bit taller. Straight with the leg angled in the front, straight on the bottom, straight on the top, something like that. You know, I might make that one a little less angled. <laughs> Clean that up just a touch. And if there's other details that you want to add, you totally can. Like you could uh, add some flowers around him or some leaves around him. But there you go. We've created a quick, easy little donkey. And you, there's so much more that you could add to this if you wanted to. You could totally change the color. You can do whatever you want. If you are interested in taking a deeper dive, um, I have a how to draw class that really breaks down into this. Um, I just wanted to do something really short and fun. This is a little bit experimental for me. Um, I usually plan my lessons out a lot more, but I wanted to just try just doing an off the cuff, really fast uh, drawing for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have anything that you'd like me to do next, uh, please leave that in the comments. And if you draw the donkey, please let me see your drawings. I would love to see them. Um, you can tag me at Paper Playgrounds. Um, I'm on Instagram. And if you'd like to learn more from me, um, check the link in the description for more videos.